As we drew closer to my house, we slowly began to see a strange light emanating from the area around it. And that area was different than what it had what it had looked like this morning, to say the least. There was not there was now ba bamboo there was now a bamboo wall sur wall surrounding my, my house, and most notably, we had a hot spring. What the fuck happened to my house? Ah! Uh, what were what words are there for situations like this? Fluck. Flumux, maybe? This wasn't here this morning! What the hell is this? What the hell is Machina Springs? Come on, Sashi. Let's go inside and see. Immediately upon opening my front door, however, we were greeted by a sign reading this way to the natural springs. Ah! The Ministry of Defense plans to issue a statement at 1800 hours we gone the massive black, black orb that appears in the skies over Tokyo. We entered the dressing room only to find Yuka naked. Uh, welcome home, big brother! And the and the Omi, the water is great! Yuka! Yuka was holding a toy goldfish, a tower, and a small be beach ball in hands. What the What are you doing? That's not the question I should have asked, but I was in too much of a shock for words to come out out the way and meant meant them too. And Yuka didn't seem to mind didn't seem to mind, she just smiled back at me. As joyous as, she, as I'd ever seen her. Come on, come on, it's amazing! Guy, one of one of each of our hands, she slid open the door in the back and led us into the Mochita Springs. Pro proper than we, proper that we've just been hearing so much about. What's going? What the hell's going on? I didn't expect this to happen. Hey, br hey, brother! Gotta say, this one is this one. This one's so. Sweet silk. Who the fuck are you? Oh, your name is Satsuki. Who the fuck are you? Who? There was another girl already soaking in the springs. A young girl around Yuka's egg spawned a, a stylish hairdo. Huh? Don't tell me you've never met her before. She's a friend from class. Her name's Satsuki Mitsuhara. Nice to meet you, bro. Now you be sure. Now be sure to keep keep your eyes open hi up high, okay? Not that I expect you to not expect you to be turned on by these raisins, raisins of mine. <laughs> Boing, boing, boing. What the fuck? No, 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 she's 14. No. What the? Hey, stop jiggling them. It was official. Nothing made any sense anymore. What the hell is going on around here? Hang on the side of she. Neomir gra grabbed on my shoulders as if to keep keep me up upright in case I suddenly decide to faint. Which, all things considered, was probably a sensible, sensible pr precaution. Oh! She said a freaking towel. This thing just keeps getting weirder and even better. Isn't this wonderful, <laughs> Miss Kuan? It's good, it's good for your health. Plus, sulfur springs help ward off evil spirits, so it's win-win. Sulfur? That's fucking acid! I asked them to have everything built by noon, and as you can see, they delivered. My company's construction division is a qu is quite resourceful, when you say. How can you do some of this without asking permission first? I point my fingers at her in a, in a, a, a in a accusatory manner, as as was the ma the style at the time. Well, now welcome home, Sarashi, and same to you, Naomi. Oh, um, thanks for having me. I hope I'm not intruding. Suddenly, I found myself shuddering down, down to my core as my mum appeared before, before us wearing nothing but a towel, bath towel. <laughs> mom, This is not helping me! Her skin was bright pink and she seemed to be very, very high spirits. By the looks of things, she was in, she was in the springs herself in, in, until just a moment before we arrived when she evidently stepped out, out to, the, to the kitchen to get a very large number of beverages. Um, if you're gonna go back, if, you, if you're gonna go back home to get get drinks, you shouldn't at least wrap yourself down. Wrap yourself down first. You're sopping wet. Yeah, sure. Anyway, everybody, grab a drink. Yay! Yay! You're the best, Jack. You come on. Yuka and Satsuki were also in very high spirits. And was Miss Kuan. Hey, what? What do you say we take a group picture, a commemoration of the establishment of the Machida Springs? 
Hey, everybody, line up. Yeah, just like that. Now say cheese. 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 This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. What the hell was Sasuke talking about? Raisins? She's pretty developed for her young age! Like, seriously, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> Sanishi, you gotta have a problem here. Like, a big problem! You need to leave now! The only way we're forced into fame as well. Like it or not, we were now a party to this ma- party to this madness. <laughs> Our eyes were basically pin pin pricks at this point. None of this seemed even remotely real, and neither Naomi nor I had any idea how to react to it. I took the drink my mom ha handed me, and and without even checking it what it was, I chugged I chugged down a few gulps. I was first in, and I fought apparently. What the? What is this flavor? There was a white thick liquid inside the milk bottle I was given. I had a faint tint. I had a faint tint to it when. When viewed un under the right light, but like the flavor, I couldn't quite identify it. This color, is this fruit flavored milk? I turned the bar to to read the label. It was apparently now a flavor. What? What? Miss Kuma, can't thank you enough for filling this lovely hot spring on our property. You're welcome here anytime you like. Here, it's a spare key to her. What? Oh my, Miss Mr. Chia, I don't know what to say. What the hell is going on in this game? Mom? Are you saying it's, it's alright for me to have this? Of course. There wouldn't be a Machida Springs if it weren't for you after all. As far as I'm concerned, you've got you've got a one year free pass. Wait, one year free pass? She built the fucking thing. Mom! That night, I found myself tossing and turning in, in my futon. I just couldn't get to sleep for the life of me. So I tossed the covers aside and got up. <sighs> Might as well go for a dip. This had been the craziest day I could I could recall in this world anyway. After all the commotion had died had died down and mainly and many of our guests had departed, Dad had come home and predictably was in the springs right away. With a recovery of his favorite sake, I had a hard time justifying Miss Kuan's arbitrary actions. Not to mention my family's utter willingness to accept them. But in the end, I had to admit the hot spring was pretty nice. The rest of my family was still asleep, so the house was dead silent. I took off my clothes in the dressing room and went and sl and slid open the the glass door. And there, sitting on the edge of the of the spring. Completely unco was Miss Cool. What? My face instantly turned bright red. She was f she was a fairly attractive woman after all. She so being alone with her like this was kind of exciting. Though looking at her now, entirely exposed as she was, revealed to me that that this shapely woman wasn't quite as shapely as I assumed. Yeah, you're right. Her body was abnormally. Worry, worryly thin. She was the definition of ga gallant, looking every bit the part of an infirm elderly woman from the neck down. Yeah, I was wondering that, and I could have sworn I caught a sight, a s slight glint from the corner of my her eyes. She didn't seem to notice me, so I was half tempted to slip, to slide the door closed, and pretend none of this had ever happened. But nope, had to come clean, Miss Kunan. Ah, Sadashi. Despite the fact that I was mu I was much young I was a much younger man and a her and a student no less, she made absolutely no effort to hide her nakedness. In fact, she actually seemed a little excited to be seen this way. Why are you in the bath at this hour? Sai, did I wake you up? No, that's not what never mind, where's Naomi? She's sleeping soundly at my home. I called her family again today, but her mum seem seems to have calmed down quite a bit. That's good to hear. I was legitimately re relieved. But I was also having trouble con concentrating on the conversation. It took every ounce of focus I had to avert my eyes from the things I knew I knew I shouldn't be staring at. Oh, could you cover yourself up, Miss Kumon? 
Hmm? Oh dear, my apologies. She merely got up from the sp from the spring, from the spot, and, dun and dunked herself in the wa water to to her neck, due to its m m m m mineral content. This was effective. This was effective means of the very least, partially obscuring her body. Yeah. What about you? On your cold, just standing there like that. You should get in. You get in as well. Huh? Uh. -uh. I panic at the realization that I too, that I too, was completely naked right now. I cut myself with my hands, and I could feel I could feel the blood rushing to my face, T turning me, turning me what I was what was quite I was quite con certain must have must have been an incredible shade of red. This is just getting fucking weirder and weirder. Recovering as best as I could from that embarrassment, I stepped into the water, choosing my spot carefully so as to put some distance between myself and Miss Kuan. Well, were you crying just now, Miss Kuan? Huh? I just... I had this strange feeling that you were... If not, then I'm sorry to ask such a weird question. Actually, I was pondering, thinking about how nice it would be if time just stopped. Miss Kuan, why are you doing all this? Hmm? Building a hot spring in the school's in a student's house, hiring private bodyguards to do your bidding? None of it makes any sense. It's all just so weird. It's making it hard for me to sleep. Are you asking about those things things specifically? Or do you want to know more about who I am? Um both would be nice, I thought. If you're asking about about those things specifically, the answer is because I want to protect others. Protect others from what? And if you're asking about who I am, didn't I already go over that with you kids at the start of the year? Well, uh, I was previously but a hum humble civ civilian, civilian serf for a certain large corporation, but then worked my way up to CEO and realized I could make my dream of becoming a teacher a reality. So she's a CEO then. I guess that explains how she's able to afford all this crazy stuff. Does that mean the corporation pro produced that that f fruit milk I was was drinking earlier too? The the label saying it was now what flavored, which I might add is kind of a uh, yes. That's one of our products. I made for the kids like you Yuka who can't who can decide where where they, where they want a yogurt, plain or fruit or coffee milk. Now they ha they don't have to decide. They can enjoy every flavor at once. Oh, okay. Now is that enough information to state to state your curiosity? State your curiosity. I can understand where Miss Kuna is coming from. I guess, but her but her approach is just way too haphazard. Her ideas are well intended, but go far beyond all no all notions of good sense. I scratch my head. What's wrong? Huh? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about your curry. My curry? She seemed genuinely confused. I guess to her, the idea of feeding her pre chewed curry was just another stroke of brilliance, maybe. Not at all not at all something that might keep a poor high school boy like myself up at night. Actually, how old is Miss Kuna anyway? Twenty four She is twenty four years old. I really wanted to know, but couldn't bring myself to ask something so rude of a woman of a lady, even if I'm even if I'm sure she wouldn't have mind. The more I thought about it, though, the more intrigued I was by this enigma, I began shift, shifting, shifting, shiftily turning my gaze towards her in short intervals, examining her body for clues. Her face had the texture and hue of a woman in her early twenties, but her body was another story. All of her skin was as smooth and beautifully toned as that, as that of her face, but there was a little behind its rip, behind it, ribs full, full exposed in every detail. Even down to what to what our domino, I could make I can make out round round indentations where her internal organs were practically jolting out. There was no muscle, no fat, just skin and bones, literally. Her proportions just didn't match up with one of another. She was like a she was like con she was a, like a construct build built out of spare parts. I felt almost as if this person soaking before me weren't even an entirely human. Miss Kuhn suddenly let out a mischievous giggle. Crap, did, I, did you catch my gaze? What is it? I was reminiscing about my first day as an assistant teach, teacher from your class. I never forgot, never forget it for as long as I live. My memory there was obviously a lot different from hers. Miss Kuhn now wasn't even a part of it. 
the TA who showed up that day in, in my mind was and always would be Yui Shishida. I can still vividly remember her tripping on on this on the step to the to the teacher's desk and tearing and tearing her skirt. She had to ho hold the ray, ray of it together with a, with a safety pin for the entire day. And even though we were we were now living in a different reality, a world without Miss Yui, Shish Miss Yui Shinohara, Susamoto, and Morishik, we had no memories of the old, of the alternate events from this from this existence. Oh, I love you. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm in love, Sadashi. Ah, uh, what? My mind completely blank. My eyes were swimming in my head. I couldn't even see straight from the heat of the water. I had. To have misunderstood her. With what? <laughs> Miss Kuan's smile widened and her cheeks turned a rosy red hue. But only for a split second there was a she was back to looking wait wasteful again. Pags of undue guilt and dread began to well up inside of me. I knew what the next word word out of her mouth was gonna be. You Miss Kuan, I was at was absolutely was abs was almost like a ma mass of innocence as she spoke that single word. Her eyes locked on onto mine and froze and froze them solid. I couldn't look away. Come on, stop messing me. When when you when you're done done with yourself, please go straight home, okay? Also, you're very close. I was dumbfounded. I immediately and very and very quickly got out of the bath and headed to, and headed for the dress room. It was just all just too too weird. I looked back to Miss Kuna, and unsurprisingly, she seemed almost deflated. She was looking down at the water in a state of utter dejection. I turned to face her, still feeling a little strange mix of guilt and awkwardness, but allowing the guilt to to, 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 to dominate for a moment. Miss Kuan, I'm not messing with you. I have to say in this, she closed her eyes and turned bright red, and I was pretty sure it wasn't from the heart, from the heat. Despite her physique, she seemed like a schoolgirl in that moment. I began to wave in conviction. I felt like I had to just to justify not return her sentiment. But I don't know anything about you. She twitched a little at this. I, had I gone too far? I suppose I, I I was supposed to know more about her in this reality than I actually did. After the longest few seconds in the re in recent memory, her head dro drooped and looked and a look of absolute sadness washed over her her face. I'd never seen her like this before. Crap! I didn't mean to hurt her. She had to know, have known that. What? But what she didn't know, and what I couldn't really explain, was that I've only been a part of this reality for a very, very short time now. So I genuinely didn't know anything about her. Just tell her! I tried to think of a way to convey this to her, but my mind kept drawing blanks. It was all just too absurd. Too fan. Too fan fantastical. Too implausible. Oh, Miss Kuna, I. No, it's alright. Sorry, I had to sp sprung that up on you. Slowly, she slowly turned her back to me. Part of me was relieved by, the, by her acceptance, I guess. But another part of me was still absolutely riddled with guilt. There, there, there was a moment of silence, and then Miss Kuna's white waterproof wristwatch broke it with a sudden loud beep. All the signs and her expressions gave way to a surprise as the num numbers on the watch displayed, which I've realized now, has, now hadn't changed this whole time, began counting down. I felt almost as if I'd been saved by the bell, so to speak, so to speak, and forced a small smile, hoping that this inter interruption might help move the topic away from me. It's cool. What kind of watch is that? It's, measure it's measuring something. She smiled. <laughs> it's part of my research. The timer had stopped, but it's on the move again now. A timer? Oh, is this research for your company? It is. There was something about this smile of hers that was strangely haunting. It, it would come to leave a lasting impression on me. Well, I think it's about the time I head home. I took the day off today, but rest assured, I'll be back. I'll be back at school tomorrow. See you then. Um, Miss Kunan. Hmm. I just want to say. Thanks to you, Naomi and Yuka seem a lot happier now. I'm so glad. I think the same can be said for you, Yushiki and Shinozaki, so thank you. Thank you for healing my friends' wounds in this strange new world. 
is what I was trying to convey, and somewhere deep down, I think the sentiment got, got through. I'm pleased to hear, hear you say that. I want to thank you as well, Sadashi. And with that, she slowly and met meticulous, meticulously weighed her way to the edge of the, of the spring. Oopsie daisy. At which point, she stepped out of the water directly in front of me. You need to cover yourself up, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm back at the school now. Man, this is a very long video. I wasn't expecting it to be this long, but anyway, I think I know where to. I think I know where to go next. I have an idea. We have to go all the way down to the gym thingy where the water pump is. If I remember correctly, it's over here. Hopefully. But seriously, what the fuck? What the hell's going on with freaking Kuan? He's like going on thinking, "Oh, I love you, Sadashi. Please have my babies." The locker room is bored. Shut. The nails look rusty. With the right to it, it shouldn't be a problem. Where's my axe? I don't have the axe! Fuck! Burn it down. That's not gonna work. Well, shit. Now what? What am I gonna do? <sighs> this thing just keeps getting weirder and weirder. I have no idea where to go. <sighs> shit. What's the save point? I'm gonna go and save somewhere. Or maybe I'll go and look around a bit. Okay, I finally found everything I need. I found a crowbar in the art room, which I didn't know about, and I found a board in the gym, and I don't know what the board is for, but anyway, we can now finally go in this fucking locker room, and it took me forever to figure that out. Open the door! The right to it should open fine. Get out of the way, boards! Yeah, use the crowbar. Whoa! This way, over here, Kishinuma! Hold on, don't go by yourself! Wait, no, I want to save! Stop! We're almost there. We're almost there, everybody. Hey, is, is, is this really where it is? No doubt about it. See, the chum's reacting. Hmm. I don't see any glowies. But this is the locker room. Same old showers as last time. And same old cubbies too, just as creepy as ever. Yeah. Those cubbies are particularly creepy. I really hope we don't have to go digging around in them. Yeah, no joke. I want to save though. Hello, dead body. I saw you over here and I thought I'd come and check you out. East Kawa Middle School, 2 4. Ichi Izumi. Drown in the attempt to drink from the bucket. What the? What was that? What is it? Oh, um, I don't know. Didn't you just hear something? God, don't skip me like that. Sorry. Can we continue, please? Wait, where are you going? <laughs> what do you- what do you- What the hell? I'm not done looking around yet! There's nothing inside this- inside this cabinet. There's nothing inside this cabinet. I thought there'd be something in them. At least. Like, I don't know, maybe an item, maybe? But, to be fair, I- I give myself way too much high hopes. Let's get out of here. Well, back in the pool again, I see. The old pool. Definitely not a fan of this place. Why is the- how is the water back? I can't remember it too clearly, but didn't I almost drown in here before? Yeah, and I really don't want to go through that again. So let's not do any diving in this time, alright? Okay. Well, it's not like I want to be here. Hey, wait! I told you not to go up by yourself! Yeah, I gotta play Yoshiki now. There's a dead body over here. Name tag. East Kawa Middle School 2 4. Katsuki. They're drowning, trying to leave the pool. Why is his body here then? Oh, God, I really am not liking this. It's in there, isn't it? It's in the fucking water! The stone's in the cave, it's in the water. Seriously? How can you possibly know that? Look, the closer I hold it to the water, the stronger, the stronger it re reacts. Yeah, but that water is full of all kinds of debris. There's no way to get in there safely. I guess not. Maybe if I do something about it, though. Can I go in? Well, I guess not. I'm gonna have to go in the pool. How am I supposed to get across? 
This gap is way, way too wide to jump. I got there's gonna be so many across it. Good thing I have that board I found. Ha! Take that game! Switching over. Go, go, go! There's no corpse over there. Go, go, go! Talk to it! East Koyo Elementary 5, Class 5, 3. Chia anime and depa. I drowned the pool, even though your body's outside the pool. That's so fucking weird. I wonder if there's a way. I wonder if the key will work. The key worked. And now we go in. Yes, it fits. That sound. Okay, the pool water should be drained. Now let's check it out. Okay. Wait. Huh? What is that? What is this? The pool water was, wasn't drained. Instead, it was frozen. But how'd this happen? God, seriously, just wait for me, damn it, I swear! Wait up! Whoa! Ow! How are we gonna get in there? Hmm. Seriously, don't just... What? What? What's wrong? Look! Oh, it's right down there. And what the hell is those? The center of the frozen pool was lit. Was lit up with a large pink visible mass visible beneath the, the surrounding ice. It was impossible to tell what exactly it was, however, through the cloudness of the fro of the frozen muddy water. What is it? I don't f know. A jellyfish or an octopus, maybe. Not that that would make any sense. You're no fucking joke. Is, is this where the charm is directed? See? What's happening? I got a bad feeling about this. Let's get let's get out here, Shinozaki. Uh oh. Oh Jesus! Ah! Shinozaki, can you swim? My feet I can't feel uh -huh. What was that? Who cares? Just carry on swimming! What's wrong? Something touched me! There's something in the water! Okay, it's gonna be alright, okay? Just ground my shoulders, but don't panic. If you apply too much pressure, we'll drown. Okay! God, I'm just so glad she learned, she learned to swim after almost drowning here before. What the? What am I doing? What's going on? I'm not getting any closer. Well, this is awkward. Tentacle monster bursting from the very center of the pool. There were now large debris of flesh flaying about each each one's stained with literary liberal with blood. Oh god damn it! Like something out of nightmares! Kishnu began trembling at the sight of this mon bizarre monsters, though it probably had had more to do with the fact the fact that we were both being pulled towards the center of the pool by something by sudden water currents! You're gonna be fucking kidding me! We gotta get over there. So we gotta swim. Okay. I think I've got it. What the fuck? The fucking let me swim. Ah! Fuck, I'm stuck. What the fuck? I'm stuck! Oh god, Shinozaki, go! Shinozaki, where are you, Shinozaki? Through the murky water, I only saw feet, fleeting, fleeting glimpses of Kishinuma, and he, and he saw only fleeting glimpses of me. Those tentacles protruding through my chest and pulling, pulling me under. I've been completely impaled multiple times in multiple places, and died virtually instantly as one of the giant shot, giant, giant squid razor like limp. Limbs penetrating my heart. Shinozaki, no! Please, goddammit, all! 
Fuck's sake! This game fucking hates me! Okay, made it. Whew! I did it this time. Tell me, tell me only three attempts. <laughs> oh God damn it! Just gotta you me no! Just lucky, damn it! Let go of her! God damn it! For a moment, all seemed lost. Then, all at once, there was a flash, a brief shing, and unmistakably split. Splosh of metal slashing through metal, metal, meat, and the octopus arm oh, was severed. <gasps> Come on, Shirozaki! Whew! Oh, the pool turned to normal. And he appears and sound echoed through the entire fenced-in area and the whole atmosphere suddenly changed. The wall reverted to its normal mucky color with the light rain. With the light rain and the wind slowly etching their own their usual patterns across the muck. Phew, that was close. <laughs> what just happened? Shonzaki! Hey, you okay? I'm still alive, so I'm fine. <laughs> Could have fooled me. I was clearly not fine, but Kishinua's nervous laugh had a certain reassurance quality to it. Me too. Huh? At the poolside stood a strangely dressed girl brandishing an enormous scythe. I thought it was you! Margaret! <laughs> There's nothing fine about either of you. Everything you're doing in here is reckless and foolish. I hope you at least learn your lesson. G you! Who are... Really, you don't recognize her? Pleasure to meet you, Ayumi Shinozaki. My name is Magumi Mitsuki. I'm an, I'm, an, I'm an executive officer in the Matsubas. And I just saved your life, lucky enough. You're the one who saved us? Thank you. Hmm. Matubas. Are you referring to the secret society that calls themselves Matubas Tomb? I didn't realize it actually existed. So what's your involvement here? How do you know about us? We're supposed to be a secret society. Uh, yeah, well, Shinozaki's an expert on old urban legends and stuff. Not much, not much she doesn't know. Marguerite glared at Kishinua for a moment with an ice cold expression. Yeah, I'm not surprised because the fact I grabbed your boobs. <laughs> you grew up my boobs, you bastard. Once I kill Mitsuto, you're next. Huh? What? What the hell are you talking about? I didn't grow up a damn thing! Don't listen to Shinozaki! I mean, look, I'm sorry I laxed onto you, but I need but I need to come here in order to protect her no matter what. You're wasting your time protecting someone like her. Yeah, I know what you mean. She's a waste of space. What? The hell gives you the right to say that? Magri ignored Kishinua's question completely and turned her attention to me. You weren't able to attend the book of showers here, were you? I was assured that you had the ability to return to return the Navarre back into the book, so I'd help so I've been helping you out from behind the scenes. What? No, you haven't. You have? This revelation seemed to instantly calm Kishinuma's rage. What have you been doing to behind the scenes? I don't have it. That's because I was tricked. You don't have the book? That means the means are irrelevant. All I care about is the end, and you failed miserably. You wasted my time. You're completely worthless. Ah, mm -hmm. so this one, so this is a blue, one of the bl crystals of the six demons, is it? It's blue, so that would mean it's the, it's the Sephiroth, the Sephiroth of Mercy. 
So, you want to so you, you want to know who I am, do you? Yeah. Well, then once again, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am your enemy. Magari took a stone, took the glowing stone and atta uh, attached it to her necklace. <gasps> hey! If you if you keep on following that fucking Yago Mitsuto's orders, and make sure you're prepared to die. I'll be taking this. Wait! You see, you see all those red letters everywhere. You have no idea just how big a curse you're messing with here. So don't stare up the Nirvana any more than you already have. Curse? What are you talking about? Please give it back! Bitch! Come back! That bitch! This is really bad. What do we do now? What do we do? We have to catch her or get- Or we can't get home. Shinazaki, stay indoors. I'll be back. Wait, Kishino, I'm going with you! <laughs> Kishino, God, where did you go? Okay, save. Okay, let's think where the hell he could have possibly gone to. Oh, man, I found him. Hope he's around here. I haven't seen any trace of Aiko or Mitsuto either. Hmm. Let's blow on that door over there. I don't know that sound in a while. That door really scares me. Well, we're going in it. Tough shit, are you? We're going in there. Huh? Bells? Oh. Well. That's... It was... It was the enormous man I'd seen before... Before passing out, when I first arrived here in this new heavenly host. The, the giant who stood before me wore a solid... A steel helmet and was splattered with blood all over his body. <laughs> ah! He swung his giant axe at me! Its blade alone was an... Was easily... Easily the size of a human... A human body. Jesus! I dogged his hand, but the floor of the school where it struck was utterly destroyed on impact. If that if that thing had hit me, there'd be no chance of survival. Run away, survive the attack for 60 seconds. That's not cool! That's not cool! There's two of them now? Why is that two? Why is that two of him? <laughs> Out my foot. This is bullshit. Why is that two of him? Oh fuck! His attack actually hit me. No. 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 Fuck. Damn it! I looked, I looked down to see my pelvic bone hit the ground with a dull foot, followed by a series of pl plums and red va vaporize as all the viscera and internal organs inside me paled up out of on top of it. Wrong end again! Fuck my life! Okay, I have a plan. So when he starts swinging, that's when I run. So basically, I walk and wait, I walk and wait, I walk and wait, and then run, and evade his attack. It's simple strategies. Oh, good thing, it, good thing you didn't do anything there. Come on then, buddy. Haha, I follow a strategy. You're not hard now, asshole. Oh, I've got you. Oh, wait, he hit me there. Fuck. Okay, wasn't really expecting that. Fuck. He didn't even hit me. This is just like the most awkward game ever of running around the place. I'm basically just trying to hold out a bit. 
Come on, is 60 seconds over yet? Come on, leave me alone! Yes! Finally! Huh? He disappeared! What's happening? Kishinuma! Where are you? I hate this! Phone call! Hello? Is this tech support? It was Misato. Hey, I'll work, huh? I can't take this anymore! I got separated from my friend and all I want to do is go home! Meh, your endurance is shit, isn't it? You don't have to talk to me like that, you know! Yeah, yeah. There were only two pairs left, right? Each time you break one, break one the, the seal on one of them, I can feel it. I can feel Nirvana's energy wa waving. That's how I know you're hard at work and doing your best. So, a sudden and ambigu ambiguously genuine compliment like that from Mitsuto. Of all people reassuring me more than it, more than probably should have, should have. I began to get misty eye. Only one that was taken by by a girl named Mikuri though. Mikuri Mitsuki, huh? Things haven't been going as planned f for her, so I'll bet she's pissed up, pissed as hell right now. I wouldn't worry too much though. She's after the same thing we are, so she'll show up again to try to get the other crystals. When she does, we can nap. We can nap the one she took. Okay. So um, just keep going. I guess in what in what it looks like to be the core of the school, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna do a little digging of my own. Trust me, we'll find each other, and when we do, we'll get the hell out of here together. All right, I'll do my best. I can. That's that's a good girl. Except Mister Two was actually talking to me from a, from back home. What? He was standing on top of a jungle gym during the entire conversation, to be exact. He was letting me to do. He was letting me to do the dirty work where he where he used the ever ever after stones to jump back to the view one on his own. There was no way I could have known that. Though I resolved to to soldier on onward and unlock the the remaining p pillars, truly believing that Mitsuto would stoop swoop, swoop in and save me in the end. We'll fight our way back to reality together, Yumi. As he stared intently at the black sphere in the sky, a creepy smile spread across Mitsuto's lips, and his hands he held a thick black, hard bound tome that bore a striking resemblance to the Book of Shadows. Whoa! <laughs> Who would have guessed the old man's manuscripts could come in handy in a place like this? If there's no book of shadows in there, I'll just have to make my own. That bastard! Son of a bitch! <laughs>